There's a jaw hinge. Fossil skin. Tooth hole. There would have been two sets of horns here. But this this little reptile, 180 million years old, it was uh, attacked by something. It's agatized bone and fossil skin. There's the remains of another jaw hinge. That's where, that's where, that's the top part of the left hand jaw hinge. The right hand jaw hinge would have been over here somewhere. I'll put my hand beside this. You know this this reptile had to be about the size of a turkey because the skull only would have been the top of the head would have been seven inches or so across. If you add the uh, bottom jaw and the neck piece, you would think this was the size of a, of a large dog head. So the body would have been the size of a large turkey. And this was obviously a meat eater. Oops, get that out of the way. There's the remains of that seashell. It's not very big. A little over an inch long. The tides are wearing down on this fossil. Before this fossil, before July 10th, 2018, there was a lot of this dis This material right here was all built up and it was kind of protecting this fossil from the brunt of uh, waves. But when I removed that material, the waves started hitting this. It was truly, truly interesting. On July 10th, 2018, the neck piece was still on. And there was a lot more skin. This area here was out, was out more. That 
tide started washing this back. And in the process of clearing out the sedimentary material from around this fossil, uh, hair started coming out. Uh, thick grayish type hairs. It's and some even, there was, there was one that even stood up still intact in the skin because the grime, the grime of millions of years had been washed away and the hair came out. That was July 15th, 2018. Now, uh, the only hair samples from this hair are at the school. The neck piece held hair samples. This was my most impressive fossil find ever. And that red thing here, that's, that's a, that proves this is agatized bone. It used to be bone, but it completely agatized into a stone-like thing. Super dense, super hard, but every feature of the skull is here, even the skin. Okay. I guess I better let this camera focus. It's going to take a minute. Well, anyway. I think I see a seal out there. Pretty sure.